Steve Cohen, after losing out on Yamamoto, life goes on for the Mets. Mets owner Steve Cohen declared he would not alter a thing regarding the team's pursuit of the highly sought-after free agent pitcher Yoshinabu Yamamoto, despite the Japanese star's decision to join the Dodgers in a highly publicized move valued at a total of $375 million, Cohen told the New York Post on Friday, I think the entire organization tried our hardest and someone was going to win and someone was going to lose and that is the way it goes. Our efforts feel good, and I gave it everything I had on the field. Life carries on. In an unwavering endeavor to lure Yamamoto to Queens, Cohen and David Stearns, president of baseball operations, went to Japan prior to the winter meetings in order to have a conversation with the right-hander, 25, and his family. On his U.S. tour, Yamamoto played two games against the Yankees, met with the Dodgers, Giants, Phillies, Red Sox, and made another stop with the Mets. Prior to the team's beginning negotiations over the terms of the deal with Yamamoto, and his agent, Joel Wolf, on Monday, the get-togethers helped Yamamoto clarify his priorities. After giving Yamamoto's countryman Shohei Otani a 10-year, $700 million contract, the Dodgers have now accounted for more than half of all MLB spending in free agency this winter. Cohen eventually made Yamamoto a similar contract offer, 12 years and $325 million plus opt-outs. However, Cohen was unsuccessful in defeating the Dodgers.